What's up everyone and welcome to the club. In today's video, we're creating a portrait illustration of a Great Dane puppy. Let's begin today's lesson by adding some guidelines in the center of our page. We're gonna start at the very top and middle. Just gonna sketch this line coming all the way down towards the bottom. Now in the center of the page, draw another line going across from left to right. Now we use these two lines to help us create a circle in the center of the page to define the size of the head. From that center point, a step up, I'm gonna mark off the top of our circle. Now we wanna measure that same distance from the center down towards the bottom. And then we'll repeat that across this horizontal line. So taking that distance from the center over towards the left and then the right side. And now we wanna connect the center point of each mark with a curve to create our circle. Let's start with the top left and we're just gonna rough this in. It doesn't have to be perfect. You know, let's go back and just readjust the shape later. Now we're gonna be turning our puppy's head looking over towards the right. So along this line on the right side, we're gonna sketch an oval for the muzzle. Start from the top, just working our way around towards the bottom and bending that up along the right side and then in. Now we're gonna place the eyes along the center line. So from the center of our circle, let's move over towards the left. So I'm gonna sketch out a small circle for the eye. Now let's move all the way over towards the right side of the muzzle. We're gonna sketch an oval for the right eye. Now from here, we just wanna block in the center line of the head. So we start from the top of our circle, bend this out towards the right, and then come down in between the eyes. And I'm just gonna work our way around the oval, going out, come down and then in towards the bottom. Now right where this curve meets the bottom of our circle, I'm just gonna sketch an oval for the nose, going all the way around and then up. Now I'm gonna separate the bottom going out across the mouth. From the bottom of the nose, let's step down, bend this down and then up. And then going back to the center, bend this out and then down towards the right. I'm going to round out the bottom of the muzzle and just pull that up. Now, along the bottom, I'm just going to tuck the chin in underneath. Now, I want to draw the edge of the cheekbones coming in towards the muzzle. Let's start from the outside of the eye, step out, curve around, and then in. I just want to bend that down towards the side of our oval. Let's add some shape to the profile edge of the head. From the eye, it's going to bend this around and then in towards the muzzle. Go up around the eye and then bend that in to create a fold. Now we're going to place the left ear on top of the head. So from the side at the top, I'm just going to bend this around, come in towards the cheeks, and then bend that down towards the bottom of the ear. Let's go to the outside of the head, bend this out, and then down. And close off the bottom of the ear with a curve. Let's tuck the right ear in behind the head. We're going to start at the top, just beside the brow, going out, come down. It's going to bend this around the muzzle and back in. Now you want to lightly finish off the bottom of the neck, starting underneath the ear. It's going to bend this around, underneath the chin, come down and out, and bend this around the side. Now with our rough sketch in place, we're going to go back and lightly erase some of these guidelines and we can get a better look at our drawing. Now we're gonna use this rough sketch as a guide to help us modify the shape and add some more detail. Now I wanna start with the left eye. We're gonna start with the eyelid. I'm just gonna bend this up across the top. And I'm just gonna bend this in and then down along the inside. I'm gonna add a fold along the bottom of the eye. Trace the outside of the iris. Now we're just gonna add a small circle along the top for the pupil, it's gonna lightly shade that in. I'm just gonna add some folds going around the eye. Starting on the top. Now we move all the way over and do the same thing across the top of the right eye. Start with the eyelid. And lightly trace out the pupil to shade that in. Now I'm gonna move down and start adding some shape and detail to the nose. Starting along the top, 
Just working our way in towards the nostrils. Maybe add some folds across the top of the nose. Just gonna lightly work our way around the outside of the head. So adding some wrinkles across the top of the head. Let's go back and clean up our drawing one final time before we add more detail and shading. Now we're just going to go back and just darken up our contrast, starting back at the eye. I'm just going to add a little bit of a highlight on the top left side of the eye, and we'll just darken up the pupil. Now I'm going to use the side edge of my pencil to add some shadows. I want to start along the inside edge of the ear. So bring the shadow going up along the inside. And we're also going to enhance those folds. I'm going to give a light shade to the top of the iris and fade that down.
just moving over and working away around the top of the right eye. Now I'm just going to darken up the bottom of the nose and then fade that up towards a highlight. So I'm going to darken up the right side and bring that in. I'm just going to add a subtle fur texture along the inside of the head. So let's just start with the ears. Just adding these little light lines going across. I'm just going to work this inside the shadows. Just gonna add some spots across the side of the muzzle, the whiskers. Now, as we get near the end, we'll just touch up our fur textures and always be sure to sign our artwork. And that's pretty much it. There's a sketch illustration of a Great Dane puppy. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. If you did, please make sure you subscribe because I'm posting new lessons every single week. I want to thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon. Hey everyone, if you really want to discover your artistic potential, then join our Club Masterclass membership. For just $1 a month, you'll gain instant access to exclusive members-only drawing tutorials, virtual art camps, and much, much more. Join our thriving community of passionate artists just like you and let your creativity soar. So just click that link in the description and I'll see you in the club.